Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nerdy 30s Review. I'm Jason, and today we're diving into an unboxing and overview, something we haven't done quite a while on this channel, of the AMD RX 9070, the non-XT version. The 9070 XT review is still forthcoming, but I had to make an executive decision on how I wanted to do that because I got reached out to quite a bit from friends and some people in social media about the Adrenaline software feature set. And truthfully, when I got in there, there was a lot I still needed to learn myself. So I figured this would be a good opportunity. There will still be performance metrics for the feature review, but it'll be primarily focused around what is RDNA 4, what are all of these feature sets, how does Adrenaline software work, you know, how do we overclock and undervolt specifically in that API. And yeah, so it's going to be much more in-depth nuts and bolts of RDNA 4. There will be some there will be some benchmarks, some gaming performance there, but it'll primarily be that like let's get to know RDNA 4. And then I will have a comparative that stacks all the way from 5070, 9070, 9070 XT, 5070 Ti. And even though that is a $550 stack as far as like the very base model of the 9070 all the way up to like 5070 Ti, which has us around $1,000, the performance differential is actually a lot more compact than, than one would think. So yeah, it would be a good opportunity to have like a use case like what do I need to spend to get what I need? Because I feel like this particular, the mid tier, the 70 class is going to be the more hotly contested one this generation. All that said, I wanted to get some content out to you as quick as I could. So while I'm still finishing up the benchmarks on the Asus Tough 9070XT and I have a Nitro Plus 9070XT on its way, I wanted to make sure I had a representation from both the 304 and the 343 watt. I thought, why not just do an unboxing? And the model that we have with us today is the ASRock Steel Legend. This is the same model that I reviewed for the 7800 XT last generation. I had a great time on it. I love the aesthetics of the ASRock Steel Legend. Like, and not to mention it's white and gray, so it'll fit the aesthetic of my Fractal North. Love to see that. Now, why don't we go ahead and familiarize ourselves really quickly with what the 9070 non-XT is. So it is RDNA 4. It's on the TSMC 5 nanometer process. We've got a, it does utilize PCI Express 5.0 by 16, DirectX 12 Ultimate, obviously, 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 on a 256-bit bus. Base clock for this, so this is an OC model, and it actually shows in the price. MSRP for the 9070 non-XT is 459, I believe. This thing was purchased at 639, which honestly, we'll get it in there, see how it performs, but I would not pay that price for a non-XT because you're going over what the XT costs and that is a much more performant card. So the overclock it does have is actually pretty impressive over what would be referenced. There was no reference for the 9070 or 9070 XT. They relied on the board partners exclusively to get this chip out there. So this does have a 1440 megahertz base clock, which is 8% of what stock would be, a 7% increase, which is 2700 boost, which is 7% over what boost would be on a reference. And then a game clock is 2210, which would be 7% as well. So really, really solid overclock out of the box. I'm excited to see what I can do with it in the rig, see if it does overclock well, or if it's one of those undervolters like the XT is. The other bits that you need to know as far as the architecture is there's 3,584 Steam pro stream processors, and the max resolution is going to be 7680 by 4320, but I don't think anybody's going to be running that display on this card. TDP is 220 watts. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look. There isn't much from what I understand. I've seen a couple others. It is very, very bare bones. There is no, what's the word I'm looking for? Anti-sag bracket. But per the back of the box, it does say that it's a reinforced metal backplate. Reinforced metal frame enhances the structure to prevent the PCB from being bent. Hooray, hooray. But let's go ahead and get a look at this. I'm actually very excited. Oh, yep. It looks pretty simple. Looks like there's Nothing to speak of in the box other than the card, which is fine. That's the important part. Oh, look at you. Beautiful. Hello, hello. Anything else in here? Oh, yeah. Your graphics card quick installation guide. If you need a quick installation guide this thick. Well, I won't say anything further than that. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this beauty. Uh, what do we got here? Oh my gosh, ladies and gents, this is, whoa, okay. So I actually really, really dig. They moved away from the digitized camo, which is really cool to see. I like like the just the play of the gray and white together there. Um, it is a metal backplate. It looks like the rest of the shroud is plastic. I'm trying to see where that reinforcement is. 
Um, oh, I see. I think it's right here. So yeah, it's it's reinforced along here, I think. Um, you know, whatever. I would probably still use a bracket because this is a 2.9 slot card. So technically a three slot card. It's not that heavy. It comes in at 1135 grams. Dimensions, we're looking at 298 millimeters long versus 131 millimeters tall versus 58 millimeters thick. So it's not a huge card. Um, it does have a, so the RGB is localized to the fans, obviously. And then I believe that the Steel Legend logo here is also RGB. But you do have a toggle right here, so it's hard to see right here, but you can flick it on and off right there next to the two by eight pin power connectors. And yeah, I think the recommendation from ASRock is a 700 watt power supply, whereas AMD's, like if they had a reference, would have been a 550. So from what I understand, this is a very, very power efficient card. I'm excited to see if that is in fact the case. The box did say something about the striped fans. Let me go ahead and take a, uh, another quick look here. So yeah, what is it? A striped ring fan. Striped ring fans get more lateral intake to provide better airflow. I don't know. I'm not an engineer, but it sounds cool. It does have silent cooling, so there's a temperature threshold. And at that point, the fan stops spinning, so it is nice and quiet in that regard. There is no dual BIOS, but it is their Steel Legend card. I think their Tai Chi card does have a dual BIOS. And from what I've read, that is a very performant card, but I did not want to shell out Tai Chi money for a 9070. And honestly, Steel Legend money for a 9070 was already pretty pricey. So I do love the aesthetics. Yeah, I really, really, really love the aesthetics of a lot of these cards this generation. I know that we have the standard, like the Tux, which are the gunmetal cinder blocks. You've got the, what is the Gaming OC, which is very much the same thing from Gigabyte. Uh, we do have Aero models, which do look pretty nice. Uh, but the two ones, at least for me, from an aesthetic standpoint that I really, really appreciated were the Steel Legend, because this is a beautiful card. And then the Zotac Solid lineup. The There's also the Amp Extreme Infinity, which does have like the Infinity Mirror on the front, which I think is a cool shtick. But most people, especially in my case, it's not something you'll notice because it's, it's a shorter case and you don't get to really see that portion of the card. So, I mean, it, it's okay. And then you've got like the RGB light strip on it. I have mixed feelings about the Nitro Plus, but I'm excited to get it in my rig. And I actually really appreciate the 12 volt power connector goes inside here because if, if it's short enough, I think I can make it work to where the uh, the side panel fan, like the optional one that comes with the mesh the fractal north, that I can get it to 140s blowing direct air on there. I really want to see if that will actually, if that will provide any kind of like meaningful coolant and then see if like that will impact frames. Like, I, I don't know. I'm very excited. I I didn't get like a super solid overclock out of the 9070X or the, the Asus Tough one, but its cooling performance is really, really great. They have that phase change thermal pad. And then of course they just like the Asus cooling, like their fans is are really, really solid. So, but yeah, are there any models that you really, really liked that you saw? Like when they did, you know, they rolled everything out at, um, what is it, GTC? When they rolled those out for the end of last year, like there were quite a few that I was really Really excited about the other one that I kind of liked the look of were the 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 XFX cards, uh, but those if you look, they are just ridiculously overpriced. They they put the 5070 Ti's like the the gaming OC to shame. Like they're like nine hundred dollars on Amazon right now, which is just absolutely absurd for the uh, 9070 XTs. But yeah, is there any model that you really really enjoyed? If you do, if there's one that you're looking forward to having in your rig, drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. Honestly, I, I do want to have a quick second here and say I really appreciate just how amazing you guys have been as I got like the technical side of this channel going and like getting more content out more quickly. I know that like I had like two or three month blocks last year and I'm working hard to make sure that does not happen again. Some of the content will be Let's Play content, but I... I really just want to get out there and like consistently get you guys content because I have a lot of fun. And more importantly, the the interactions that I've gotten from the 5080 review and the 5070 Ti review have been amazing. Like I, I love like this is the busiest season of my life. Like this year, this tax season has been just like mind numbingly, just like soul crushingly difficult and busy. But like getting to log off work and like see the questions and like people reaching out and like sharing their experience has been huge. It's been a real, real like bright spot this year. So yeah, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you guys. Oh yeah. The other last thing about this is this has three display ports, 
2.1s and one HDMI 2.1. There they are right there. Yeah, just a standard fare there. It's a beautiful card. I really am excited to get it in my rig. I think it is going to match, like mesh the aesthetics that I have of the, the Fractal North and the, what is it, the Gigabyte Aorus Master Ice X870 motherboard that I've got in there. So I think it's going to look a treat inside there. I can't swap out my 9070 XT because I'm not done benchmarking on it yet. But when I get it in there, this is going to be the next one to get in there to review for that data set. So I'm very excited to get that in there. And I'll take some good B-roll footage. <laughs> I'll take some this channel good B-roll footage. I'm still learning how to do that. Uh, my wife's actually got like one of those light boxes. And I think that's what I see a lot of like the more professional YouTubers use. If there's anybody out there who has some pointers on like how to take good B-roll footage with I've got a Samsung S23 Ultra specifically for the advanced camera. And then what I'm recording on now is a, what is it? A Panasonic G7 Lumix. And I love that camera. Like I take it everywhere and take really good pictures, but videos I'm still really learning on. So anybody's got any pointers on how to improve that would be huge. But yeah, if you enjoy content, if you like this rambling video that I kind of just got out to you because I want you to know I'm still here, I'm still working, please leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel. It means more than you know, sincerely. And just like drop comments, like tell me what you got going on in your rig right now. Tell me what you're looking forward to. If you're hoping that AMD will roll out that elusive 32 gigabyte thing that we keep hearing about and crossing our fingers for. But yeah, I, I am just, I'm so, so blessed, so humbled by the reactions that I've gotten from my last two videos. So I hope that continues. I love these conversations. You guys are a fantastic community, an amazing community. I hope you do have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one.